What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nikki the host. And DJ! I'm back with another freaking video, you heard? Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? Um, we're on the road to 200K. This is the true thing. So make sure y'all subscribe, man. And if you're new, welcome to the league. So, first of all, I'm in a great mood. I look great. Red is my color. You dig? Um, I got a lot to talk to y'all about. So first of all, I decided <clears throat> to go on a hiatus. Okay? I didn't want to do a video. You know what I'm saying? Um, I needed to figure out a schedule because I'm a person that does a lot. Okay? So literally, I do t-shirts, um, videography, uh, TLC, YouTube. That's already a lot. Yes, I can get into the other stuff I do, but that's already a lot, you know. So, I do so much, and I was doing so much in a day, waking up at like 10 o'clock in the morning, not feeling like I had time to do nothing. It was a mess, you know what I'm saying? Like, by this time, it's 2 o'clock right now, I just be, I just start to work out, you know what I'm saying? Which is ridiculous, considering the things that I do. So... I had to take a humble moment. I had to sit down. I had to sit down and look at myself. Sometimes you got to sacrifice to do so. So I did that. Um, spoke with a couple people. Did a couple jobs. Made, made a couple dollars. And now I'm here. It's the last quarter of the year. The last quarter of 2020. I know that we all want to get the hell up out of here. You know what I'm saying? So I decided that I'm going to absolutely just... You know, for, first of all, this year has been for me to focus on me, but it's so much for you to focus on when you're focusing on yourself. You know what I'm saying? You have to focus on all aspects of yourself. Now, for those who don't know, I lost 50 pounds. Shout out to the CBD ISOT, you heard? Shout out to that. Um, I lost 50 pounds. I look amazing. My skin looks amazing, man. I'm in a great, I have, I'm in a great mental space. Um... And I'm really always in a great mental space, but sometimes, you know, your judgment can it can be clouded by what's going on outside of, of yourself. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm out here handling my business, and I'm like, what is wrong? Why am I touching touching a certain amount of money? Why is this not working? Why is that not working? And then it all just came down to the answer of you are just doing entirely too much. So. When you get into YouTube or when you get into doing t-shirts or when you get into having a clothing line or when you get into anything, you have to get into that. You get what I'm saying? You have to put your all into it because that's the only way you're going to get something from it. And that's what I realized that I was missing, you know, and also that I wasn't sacrificing anything. I wasn't sacrificing sleep. I wasn't sacrificing time. I kind of wanted to wake up and do what I wanted to do. That's been working for some years now, but now it's a wrap. So, uh, starting uh, October 1st, I decided that I'm going to go on my 90 day run again and that I'm going to wake up at six o'clock in the morning, at least five days out the week. You know what I'm saying? Because with me, my body has to rest, so it's going to be a problem. So I've been waking up every day at 6 a.m., excuse me, 5 a.m., going to the gym at 6 a.m. Uh, I actually have a coach as well, Coach Clay, shout out to Coach Clay, um, going to the gym, absolutely getting a full body workout. Leaving out of the gym by 8 o'clock. And I got an entire day to myself. Like, meanwhile, I used to wake up at 10. You know what I'm saying? Can't really get nothing done about 3 or 4. By 3 or 4, all the business is closed. What are you doing? You know what I'm saying? So, I was really wasting a lot of time. I didn't know what that was. Somebody just subscribed to my Twitch. Shout out to you. Um, It's just, it, it, I was wasting a lot of time. You know what I'm saying? So, I decided to switch that up. I realized the only way I'm going to be able to move up is sacrifice. I, I have to sacrifice something. So now I'm sacrificing time and, and um, time and, you know, eating what I want and things like that. I'm just, I'm, I'm just getting into it. It's we on day six. Okay. Uh, I have been getting up at 6 a.m. And, uh, excuse me, 5 a.m. Working out by six. Out of the gym at eight. On my job by 8.30. Handling my business to by five. It's a beautiful thing. So today, I'm like, okay, I was, I wanted to be in a good mental space to get back to YouTube, because it, it, it's YouTube is strenuous, y'all. Actually, 
I bought this entire gaming system, literally, to do reaction videos easier. So it wasn't so much work. So, of course I love to work, but when you're doing four things, four huge jobs, something has to be minimized and something has to be sacrificed. With this gaming system, I could do the comp uh, I could do the video, edit the video from, you know, not cuz I'm not going to do full edits. Just get y'all raw content. Don't curse. Take out the beginning and the end. Boom. It's a video. It take about 5 minutes to uh five minutes to save and about 10 minutes to upload that took me about 20 minutes you know what i'm saying so i can get three videos done in an hour versus having to take out the camera set up the ring light you know what i'm saying do the video cut the camera off put the sd card in, edit it it's too much you know what i'm saying like for real so i had to just make adjustments and i decided to sacrifice time from youtube to do so but I'm back. So that has gone on. Also, I realized something, y'all. And, you know, I've been told a long time ago, like, you should read, you should read, you should read. And I'm like, I'm going to read, I'm going to read, I'm going to read. But I never just, I never had the patience to sit down and read. Some people just don't. Everything ain't for everybody. Try to turn blue and it just ain't going to work. So, Somebody told me the other day to read the five love languages, one of my friends. And, you know, spicy management, spicy management told me to read that a long time ago. Didn't listen. And I should have then. But I don't, I don't read it. Found this app called Audible, okay? And um, on Audible, I can hear the book. The The writer that wrote the book is, is, is reading it to me. Now that is a blessing. So... I've been listening to that book for the past two days and I don't know how to love y'all. So this isn't anything to be sad about. And I, I want y'all to know, I don't want y'all to feel sad, but you know, it's, I, I get annoyed when people ask me, you know, why am I still single? Why me and TT not in a relationship? Shout out to TT. She's at work. Um, but it takes time <clears throat> for you to love yourself, right? But not only does it take time for you to love yourself, it takes time for you to learn, love someone else. I'm still learning how to love someone else. You get what I'm saying? So, I bought a bunny. You know what I'm saying? Royal. I'm going to show y'all him before I leave. Oh, uh, before I get off this video. I wanted to buy a pet because I wanted to love the pet. And, <laughs> although... <laughs> It was hard. It's really hard. Um, I'm getting the hang of it. It's been a couple months. You know, I've had my ups and downs with it. But now I'm getting the hang of this thing. And I think he is too. And that's a good time. That's my dog right there. But I wanted to love something. You know, you can love a person or you can tell a person, I love you. You know what I'm saying? That don't mean you don't. But that in love feeling or that feeling of, you know, I don't know. The feeling of love is 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 it's hard to describe. You know what I'm saying? And I don't mean that I want relationship love. Love comes in so many forms. You know what I'm saying? I just want love in general. To feel love and to love something, someone. And that's why I got the bunny. And you know, that's my dog. We cool. Times get hard. I ain't gave him away yet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I thought about it. But I ain't gave him away yet. And I'm realizing that I can love. So I'm, you know, into this book. And I'm absolutely realizing I'm, I can love. And why, though, why I'm not in love. You get what I'm saying? Why I haven't really been in love. So now I, I can say I feel like I've never really been I can't say I've never been in love because my last relationship I was in love. But I'm talking about that unconditional, I'll marry you, girl. I will, you know, move mountains for you type love. And, you know, I ain't in a rush, baby. You can come whenever you come. But I realize I have to be loved a certain way. You know what I'm saying? And I have to love someone a certain way. 
And it's just a blessing that I, my mind is a little more clear now. You know what I'm saying? And I can put two and two together for real. You know, I, I should have listened to people a long time ago. A lot of people, good people that have been in my life have told me to listen to certain things that I just didn't listen to. Um, then I learned a lesson later and it's like, girl, like you, you could have learned it a long time ago. Um, but I'm a better late than never type of person, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just happy that I was able to get into that book and that I feel better about love now. Love is a, it's a, it's a sacrifice. It's a, it's a complicated thing. Um, it could be simple, you know, it's, it's, it's simply amazingly hard slash easy to do <laughs> you know if you paying attention to what's really going on you know what i'm saying and that's just it you know so i have just been doing some you know some some mental mental work you know what i'm saying and some body work you know with myself i've met some great people you know and I just needed this break, y'all. I need this break, child. I feel so much better today. Like, what what messes with me the most is when I can't figure out something. And child, I just couldn't figure out why I wasn't making this amount of money and why my life felt like it was just all over the place. I just couldn't figure it out. But I need to listen more, child. That's all it is. But I feel better. I feel amazing. And I appreciate y'all for standing by me. You know what I'm saying? As much as y'all do. You know, uh, I got some loyal people just that just don't ever give up on me. And I love y'all for that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to end this though because I feel like I'm just talking in circles. I am happy. But um, yeah. I'm about to get out this video. You dig what I'm saying? Do some more reactions and then go on about my business. But I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. We on to the next video.